नमस्ते नाम गीता ध्यान ओम पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनीनामे महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायि अंबत्मुसंदा भगवदगीते भगवेशिणी भगवदगीता with which lord narayana himself gave enlightenment to artha ancient sage vyasa included it in the mahabharata o goddess contained in the 18 chapters and shower of the nectar like knowledge of advaita o my affectionate mother the destroyer of rebirth i meditate upon thee and now krishna vandana वसुदेवसुत देव कंस चाणूरमर्दन देवकी परमानंद कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु सन् ऑफ वसुदेव द स्लेयर ऑफ कंस एंड चाणूर एक्स्ट्रीम डिलाइट फॉर मदर देवकी ओ कृष्ण द सुप्रीम टीचर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स आई सैल्यूटेशन स्टी and we are on our 33rd verse 33rd shloka of the sankhya yoga second chapter second adhyay of shrimad bhagavad gita shri krishna is talking to arjun and giving him some words of wisdom shri krishna says athachetvam imam dharmyam sangramam na karishyasi स्वधर्म कीर्ति चिवा पापम वापसी वेरी स्ट्रांग वर्ड्स इन डीड श्री कृष्ण हेज टोल्ड इन द प्रिसेडिंग श्लोक शी श्री कृष्ण हेज टोल्ड दैट हैविंग बॉर्न एज ए क्षत्रिय एंड नाउ रनिंग अवे फ्रॉम दिस वॉर द राइटियस वॉर विच इज द प्राइमरी ड्यूटी ऑफ द क्षत्रिय स्वधर्म यूर स्वधर्म एंड यू आर रनिंग अवे फ्रॉम इट दिस इज नथिंग बैट you are closing the heavenly gates for you in case uh, uh, you know you, this is a rare opportunity you, uh, any kshatriya gets to wage a righteous war to wage a war uh, for the righteous cause and uh, if that you are not doing then you are running away from your duty your own duty your swadharma now uh, shri krishna further says atachet mam atachet mam mam dharmyam atachet is but if mam you mam is dharmyam righteous sangramam righteous war dharmyam sangramam hmm? na prishasi if you don't get engaged If you don't get engaged in this righteous war, then ataha swadharmam irtim cha. Ataha is then swadharmam irtim cha. Swadharma is your own duty. Your uh, the, the the duty that you has got come to you by your birth. Your swadharma, as well as your irti, your honor. what will happen to these the itwa having killed having destroyed having perished apam avapsyasi you will incur nothing but sin apam avapsyasi you will shall incur apam sin nothing but sin now shri krishna is telling him in strong words i have told you get up get ready for the war for this righteous war you have got is go you have got this excellent opportunity with which any kshatriya would actually uh, die for because 
fighting for the righteous cause is the very nature of the Kshatriya, the born Kshatriya. And you are running away from that. So, if you don't get engaged in this righteous war, then forfeiting, you, you will be destroying your Swadharma, your own duty, as well as your Kirti, your honor, and for a Kshatriya, for a Kshatriya to forfeit his duty and his Kirti is like incurring a great sin. Papam avapsisi, you will get nothing, you will incur nothing but a sin out of it. So that is what Sri Krishna has strongly, uh, you know, uh, condemned Arjuna's uh, despondency. Uh, Swami Chidbhavanandaji has commented upon this shlok as self-annihilation is the age of sin. That is what you get, self-annihilation. If, if you forget your duties, if you uh, run away from your duties, if you shun what you are up to, this act of sin. Greater than that is the fall of man who fails to do in time his duty that is based on righteousness. Forget about your normal course of duties. You are running away. You are incurring sin. What you are supposed to do if you are not doing, that means you are uh, getting away from your line of duty, from your path of duty. And getting away, turning away from the path of duty is like a sin, is like a it is for any normal course of action and here your duty you have got an opportunity of the righteous war dharma yuddha so that is even worse omission of doing the right thing is more potent for a will than the commission of the bad thing so, not stopping the bad thing, not stopping the wrong, that is much worse than allowing bad things to happen and uh, closing your eyes towards people doing bad things. So, it is your duty to wage this righteous war, which has come to your lot. You are so fortunate. As a Kshatriya, you are so fortunate that you have got this opportunity, that this righteous war has come to your lot. Now, fame and honor attained on the person who lives life on earth. Naturally, if you are doing your bound duties, if your slotted duties, if you are doing well, you get all the honor, your honor, your pride, your name remains intact. Yes. But if you are running away, what you are supposed to do if you are not doing, then it is as good as uh, uh, you know co committing a heinous crime, then, heinous sin. So that is uh, uh, Sri Krishna once again. From another perspective, he is trying to uh, uh, emphasize this fact on Arjuna's mind. Now he's not talking about Atman and Deha and the immortality or the temporariness. No. He is telling purely from the Swadharma point of view, from self duty point of view. What you ought to do, you must do. What you must do, you got to do it. You don't run away from it. Don't uh, uh, get, get panicky and uh, try, 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 try to escape from the situation. I don't want to fight. No, it is not a dharma. So Sri Krishna has uh, uh, spoken about uh, this uh, forfeiting your duty and honor in case you are not waging this war. In clear cut terms, he has told uh, Arjuna that better you get ready now. So that was uh, our reading of the 33rd shlok. Now, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva Sri Krishna Jai Sri Ram Krishna Jai Sri Ram